Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good night to whoever is going to be watching this. We're back with more cooking. Love the cooking. And today, as the um, title says, we're doing a one-pot beef, broccoli, and rice dish. Because who doesn't life like beef, broccoli, and rice? Because I know I sure do. I did a little bit of the prep work. Also got myself a nice little tool now. I got a gimbal. That was a lovely gift. Um, so now, no shaky camera. No uh, camera balanced on the knives. It's all uh, all set up on this stand that I can freely rotate like this. Still getting used to it. Still need to learn how to use it. But, you know, at least now we have something stable to set this on. Alright, so some of the prep work was done. Onions, because I cry when I cut onions and no one needs to see that ever. Alright, let me get a spoon and we'll press on. Because the first step in this recipe is uh, chop up some onion. I went with some uh, white sweet onion. I'm going to uh, get disowned for this part, but next is a uh, some garlic, quick easy. I like the I like the fresh garlic, but this is easy, you know, really fast. Throw some garlic in there, and then we throw the beef in and we brown it. That's the probably the hardest part of this right here is just getting this going. Alrighty, howdy, howdy. Who's in here now? I can't quite make out who that is, but welcome. We are making a beef, broccoli, and rice one pot, one dish meal. So it's going to be delicious and healthy. Delicious, tasty, healthy. All the things, all the wonderful stuff. Ah, Kylie, how's it going? I could not see the picture. My phone is too tiny. Oh boy. How are you doing today? Hopefully well. It is currently, what, 7.35 there in good old Ohio. All right. Let's get this all broken apart, mixed in. We'll start browning. Yes, all of the hearts. I am worthy. Give me one second while I wash my hands and we'll be back. Oh, no. You know, I tried to make this video my first one on YouTube, but uh, YouTube wasn't liking my phone or something, so I couldn't do it. So we're back on here on good old Facebook. Back on good old Facebook for another view. Hey, it's going good. I am doing well. I am living in a heat wave right now. It's pretty hot out here. But uh, other than that, you know, just enjoying myself as best I can. I got, uh, got work tonight, so that'll be interesting. Hopefully nothing, nothing too crazy is happening. I got work and then the weekend coming up, so that'll be fun. Alright, so we brown this sucker up. And while we're browning that up, we're gonna come on over here for a little bit. Oh, gimbal fancy. Oh, it. Yep, see, look at that. Auto adjusts with me. That's pretty nice. Yee. Let's angle that up. Now we need some warm water and some beef bouillon. And yes, that is you be meowing in the background. Huh? Nice hot lately, but cooled down these last few days. Yeah. The only benefit to the uh, the temperature out here is no humidity. It's like burning the skin off your back, but. You know, I can still breathe. I don't feel like I'm drinking water. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong one. Warm water. Warm water, Skip. What did you do for dinner? Any 
anything interesting? Mix that up and let it sit while this uh, continues to brown and cook up. And then we add everything in, cover it, and let it simmer for 20 minutes. So it's going to be quite tasty. Intro to rice casserole. Hey! That sounds delicious. Both going up rice dishes. Great minds. You know, I almost made a fatal error. I actually need to measure this water. <laughs> uh, where's my measuring cup? Is it in here? It is. I need to wash it. I almost just started dumping water in there. That would have been horrible. I'm like, why does this, why does this dish taste so watery? Oh yeah, I didn't measure it. Alright. So we need specifically three cups of warm water mixed into two packets of beef bouillon. So there's two cups. I don't know if this bowl's going to be big enough. Uh, barely. What up? Glorious. And mix this up again. Yeah, yeah. She she does when I'm in the kitchen. Here, I'll show you. Her. Everyone can get a look at her. That's the wrong way. That's the kitty. That's her little spot. While I mix this up, I'll have you enjoy the wonderful musings of kitty. Should have let this uh, beef thaw a little bit longer, but you know, we'll make it work. That, should, that would be a good, uh, a good, uh, what is it, away screen? Just my cat. <laughs> Crazy in the kitchen too, especially when they're hungry. Ah, she's not hungry. She's got all the food she could ever want. Her dish is overflowing with food. I don't understand. I think she's just psychotic. Kitty, what's up? beef bouillon. Mm. Alright, we're back off of kitty now. Wrong way, we're going back on kitty. Camera loves the kitty. Alright. Try stuff. Yeah, she doesn't get spoiled like that. She gets wet food, but not every day. I use that as a treat. So she's got her normal hard treats, and then she's got her her wet food treats. But yeah, I mean, she eats regularly, and I don't I don't worry about time. She just grazes whenever she wants. It's weird, the minute I get out of the kitchen, she's quiet, but whenever I am in the kitchen, she's just a maniac. Gotta break apart all these little pockets of bouillon, I don't know what happened here. Yeah, 
And again, like always, this will be my my now meal and my lunch meal. Gotta try and keep on that healthy train. Serving sizes and good foods, not fast food. All that junk. I had pizza the other day, so really gotta hop back on that wagon. Alright, and the bouillon is mixed up. We're basically gonna take that and throw it in to our little concoction over here once uh, it's all cooked up and browned. Throw it in there with some rotel. Salt and pepper this sucker. And you're supposed to use Creole. Uh, I thought I had Creole. I do not anymore. I think I must have thrown it away because it was uh, expired. Even though they're spices. I don't know. I don't risk that stuff. If it says used by this date, I use it by that date. And so I'll just have to use salt and pepper this time. Next time I'll make sure I have Creole. But, I mean, this has got onion. This has got garlic in it. I'm not sure all of what's in Creole, but, you know, this will have some good flavor. Got Latel coming in, salt, pepper, onion, garlic, beef bouillon. Um, can't really think what else. We're going to have some cheese on top afterwards. So after we cook this for 20 minutes, let it boil and simmer. Covered, we're gonna um, add in the cheese and melt that over top, and it's gonna be a delicious sight to behold. Gotta break apart all this beef though. And then once I do this, we'll add some salt and pepper. Like I said, it's supposed to be Creole. But, alas, I do not have that. It's sad, too, because I just went to the store, like, ten minutes ago, just for this. I wanted to make sure I had everything. Funny story, I don't have everything. Alright. Add in a little pepper. You know, we could give it a little bit of kick, too. Let's see what we got in the old, uh, spice drawer. See what we can add to give it some kick. Not too much. I don't like too much kick. We got uh, Cajun chili powder, cayenne. Uh, you know, Let's give it a little bit of chili powder, huh? Let's see how that does. Oh my goodness. A little bit of chili powder. I usually don't do this on the first time making a recipe. I like to stick to the recipe. This way I can see how I like that original recipe. Ooh, that chili powder smells good though. Yeah, this way I can see how I like that original recipe and what I think I would change. And then the next time I make it, I'll make small adjustments for, you know, what I want. Or if I really like the recipe, I'll just keep it. browning up a little bit more then we gotta get the onions clear so it's gotta be beef browned onions clear and then we add in all the fun stuff three cups of warm bouillon water half a can of rotel let me double check my little recipe over here so yeah onion garlic Pepper a cup, warm water, bouillon. Oh, the two cups of rice. Almost forgot. I need two cups of rice. Long grain, delicious. Jasmine fragrant. All right. And that's what we got the big old one cup measuring cup out here for. I'll tell you what though, I need to finish this soon. I woke up, I am starving. So hungry.
that's where mistakes came in when I went to the store because I went to the store hungry and <laughs> I ended up buying some Reese cups. I can probably save those later at work when I'm bored. Have a couple. As long as I eat in moderation, you can have practically anything you want, in my opinion. I am no expert, though. If we get DJ Natto here in the chat, though, that guy's an exercise sci- uh, Hey! Nope. Get down. Exercise science major. He, he knows everything about health. He is the bomb. Yeah, she's going again. I don't know what her issue is. She's alright up there. So, what... What is it? It's Wednesday. Today was Wednesday, so hump day. How is everyone's midweek? Looking forward to the weekend. Got any, any good plans? Any good cooking plans? Ideas? Date nights? Food in general? is a main topic of these videos. <coughs> Going camping. Oh, camping food. Fire. Yes gonna be uh, be some s'mores. I haven't had s'mores in a hot minute. I haven't been camping in a hot minute. What's your your favorite camping food? chili in there. I think that's a good idea. It's probably a horrible idea, but mm, we'll see. This could be the end of me. But it just smells so darn good. Mmm. Try some stuff with the camera here. See if I can get it. Oh, we're, we're heading into space here. All right, here we go. That's what we got going on so far. Delicious, looking good. Almost ready for all the rest of the ingredients. You know what I did forget to do though? And people will grouch because I was I forgot to do it last time. I need to put my phone on vibrate. Yeah, kitty, phone on vibrate before I get a before I get a uh, a text message or a phone call. Get off the counter. I don't think so. She's a little demon getting on the counter. But I spoil my cat, so. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. Pizza iron sandwich. Pizza iron sandwiches over the fire. Fuck you. Tacos and definitely breakfast food. Oh, breakfast food is the best. Pizza iron sandwiches, though. I don't think I've ever heard of that. That sounds delicious. And yes. yeah. Oh, it smells. If I could just... Through the camera. Mm-hmm. Excited. Alright, so now we go ahead and... Here, boil... Add everything. It says add everything. All right, let's roll. So half a can of Rotel. That's a little more than half, but that's all right. Add in our rice. And then the beef bouillon. This is going to be interesting, pouring from a bowl.
but we managed. And now we'll mix that all together, bring it to a boil, cover, reduce, let it simmer for 20 minutes. So now you got me for 20 minutes just staring at my pretty mug. Hey Kylie, it's it's funny you're popping into this video. I don't I don't know if you were here for the last one, but I always see uh um go. Oh, I lost my train of thought. Mm. Now I'm sure I'll remember it. Oh, your brother and his wife always popping in here, saying hello, checking out the food and stuff. Oh, you know, that was only one cup of rice. You know, you know, got two cups of rice, Skip. Two cups of rice. Man, I don't know what my issue is today. You always miss it. Yeah, I, you know, I think I usually do it on the weekends, maybe. I don't know. I just do it whenever the... Whenever the feeling hits me, but you know, hopefully soon I'll be able to figure out uh, all the ins and outs of YouTube, and then I, I plan on transferring all of my stuff over to there. I don't think I'll do it on uh, Facebook anymore. I'll probably do YouTube Live and stream it on YouTube. This way, uh, I can easily upload the video after. Because uh, um, trying to get it off of Facebook is kind of difficult. And I think I missed something you said there. Let's see here. Oh, oh, calzone maybe. Maybe calzone? Bread and cheese sauce and whatever topping you want. That sounds delicious either way. Yeah? Yeah? Alright, boil. Let's roll. We gotta get this sucker going. Yeah, and now, uh, now we've got all the ingredients in here. Once it starts boiling, I'll give it another look-see in the camera. And we boil it. After it comes to a boil, cover it. Reduce it to low simmer. Cook for 20 minutes, not removing the lid. Don't even check it. So leave it for 20 minutes. And then um, afterwards, you'll you'll check it. Make sure the rice is cooked. If you need, add a little bit more water and cook that down. And once it's done, taste. Season to taste. Add cheese. Let it melt. And dish. That's all we have left to do now. Yeah. Once it starts boiling. Oh. You need to calm down, kitty cat. You guys should let me know in the comments what you think about uh, me moving this show over to YouTube. I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to share a link in Facebook so anyone who wants to can come watch and then come come by and check out the videos later. But uh, I really hope to start achieving that goal. Mm, maybe by phone sometime in uh, July or August. And then, as I've, I've said in some of my other videos, the whole plan is uh, I want to do a vlog slash gaming YouTube channel. Hold on. She's on the counter again. Uh, uh, vlog slash YouTube gaming channel on YouTube. Or, yeah. And then um, this way I can, you know, hit up all my interests. I like cooking and you know, if I go on a cool trip, maybe I can do a little video about it. 
So if you all think that's a cool idea, let me know. And we can get some ideas for future videos. I'm up for, you know, if you want to request a type of meal or recipe. If you're into games, you know, I've got some ideas for what I want to do, but I'm never opposed to hearing what others think. So leave, leave a comment. Let me know what you all think. Thanks for, for standing there. Yeah, it, what, what's the saying? It's a... Um, a watched pot doesn't boil or something like that? I don't know. That's an old saying. <sighs> it's kind of boiling. I don't know. It's With these pans, though... Here, let me see if I can get this down here. With this type of pan, though, it, uh... It really starts to burn on the bottom. It's an all-clad pan. Whoa, gimbal's going all over highway. Haywire. Um, it's an all-clad pan, so I I'm, haven't gotten the exact science down on how to really cook in this at higher heats, because you need lower heats for these. Lower heats, otherwise you can ruin the pan. But I need it to boil. <laughs> and that's more of a simmer, in my opinion. Yeah, alright. Well, if you think that's a great idea, I think it's a great idea. I would uh, definitely appreciate anyone coming to watch, as long as they enjoy this. Any criticism, feedback, or, you know, advice. Anything you guys think I could do to improve or make it better. I'm all ears. I've already gotten some. Good friend of mine, Daryl Nelson. She was watching, watching one of my videos one time when I was just kind of standing here, not saying nothing because no one was watching. So I figured, hey, you know, I'll just stand here and wait until someone pops in and start talking. So now I talk. I talk all the time. I'm going to talk your ear off. You're doing a great job. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Come on. Yeah, I think one of the one of the most daunting things about trying to achieve this goal is just seeing all the established YouTubers. That that's more of a boil. Seeing all the established YouTubers and uh, the stuff they have, like their editing and art style. I still don't talk much. <laughs> ah, you always seem to, to talk around me. But uh yeah, all, all their their you know their thumbnails and their, their editing style and their artwork and their profiles they all look so cool and complete and good. And I just don't even know where to begin. So it kinda bogs me down. I'm like, eh, I don't know how to do that. And then I go to work and forget. I need to look some stuff up and, you know, get rolling. Get everything started. That's the hardest part. Let's turn this down a little bit more, I think. Alright, so now we got 20 minutes, so what shall we do? Uh, my cat is on the counter where she's not supposed to be. This little thing. Alright, off the counter. Gotta start somewhere. Hot dog. Oh, in case anyone's wondering though, anyone that watches this or is watching, here's the new the new gimbal that we're sitting up on. So far I like it. It's really nice, easy controls. Um I do kinda wonder I must need a new an, an another cord to uh to get on the counter again. Another cord to uh, hook in the gimbal to the phone because it looks like I can actually control certain aspects of the camera on here. So that'll be something that I need to figure out later. So again, this was generously gifted to me 
and I'm checking her out. I'll learn how to use it. It'll be fun. It's a lot better than balancing it on a knife set. Which, by the way, now that we have this gimbal, I can pull it away. And this is what I've been balancing my, uh, my phone on. I've been rotating this little knife set here sideways and taking out these three knives right here and balancing it against these. So it's been a real, uh, real rigged up scenario. But now I got this cool gimbal, so this will be fun. I will need to charge though because it looks like the battery's already dying. That's fair, it is brand new. Starting somewhere right there, that's what I'm talking about. No, uh, that's okay. No, um, artwork or anything, but you know, we got our first, first piece of hardware. Yeah, I wish I could figure this out though. It's apparently you can, uh, you can zoom the camera in and out with it. You can change settings. Oh, you know what I did forget to do? Hmm. I don't even know if it's worth doing now. I guess we could uh, show it off real quick, though. I believe it was two clicks. Yeah. I was suggested. Oh. Never mind. You can't do that while you're live. I'll have to set it up like that next time. I was suggested to uh, uh, rotate my camera sideways in landscape mode. And it would be a, a better better view for everyone who's watching. So I'll have to try and remember to do that next time. Just in case maybe you guys can see a little bit better. Mm. Yep. Other than that though, just waiting. And this is, I guess this would be another one of those times where I could uh, use anyone's advice as to what to do. Because now I'm done cooking. This is what the show about right now, you know, cooking food. Showing you guys this delicious, yummy food. And now we've got to sit here and boil for 20 minutes. So I'm just going to sip on this rain. Mmm. -hmm. Can't drink, can't show off my whiskey, because I work tonight. I've already shown off Cat. She's always being shown off. Mm. But yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know what dish I'll do next, though. Maybe next, uh, you know, there's a really, really cool dish, really in depth dish, uh, Oyakudon, Japanese. Um, it's. Mm, mm. I don't know how to best describe it, honestly. It's got chicken, rice, eggs, and it's 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 almost almost like a soup, but not quite. I'll probably turn that down a little bit more. It needs to be a low simmer, not a boil. Yeah, it's almost like a soup. Mm. Yeah. It's really interesting though, because you. You cook the chicken, and it's in its little uh, little broth, I guess you would call it. And then um, after a certain while, after it's cooked, you add in the eggs um, directly into that broth. Cover it and steam the eggs. That's how you cook them. That was, that was weird the first time I cooked that, because I've never cooked eggs like that before. Yeah. What a character. Hmm. She's still chilling up there. I don't know what she's doing. What a weird cat. Sounds, yeah, it's delicious too. It's like, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe I'll just, I'll cook it for you guys, and then, uh, ooh, that's bright. There she is, up on her little fridge again. And maybe I'll cook it for you guys, and then if you like like the idea, you can, you can try and cook it yourself, or uh, maybe order it from a, 
a restaurant, they might have something good like that. But yeah, everything. I'm no, I'm no master chef. Everything I cook, you guys can definitely do too. So I try and lay out the recipe. You can come back through and rewatch it, and um, you know, do the recipe. Let me know if you guys do decide to do anything. If I do any kind of interesting recipe like the oyakudon, and you try it, and you know, you found a a better way, or or it was just good. The recipe tasted great, and you liked it. Let me know. Definitely cook it. Alright, I'll definitely cook it. I'll say that for a weekend cook, though. Not a weekday. Mm -mm. Weekday cooks have got to be simple and fairly short. I like to relax on my couch. Let's go take a walk. It's slow. It's slow to catch up. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, my apartment's messy right now. But, I guess we'll just talk for a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, up on her little kitchen. Ooh, bring her down. There we go. Yeah, but no. In my living room, chilling. This is where I do my gaming. So we got... Let's take a look here. We're just gonna chill. We'll do a little tour, huh? Tours are fun. Yeah. My living room, got my TV. That's my laptop right there that I'm currently gaming on. Omen, love Omen. Omen was was a good buy. Busy day every day. Oh, busy day every day. You gotta take some time off. That's what the camping's for, though. Um, yeah, over there's my my, my uh, land deed to an acre in Scotland. I am a lord. That's funny. A gamer. Oh, how old is your son now? Oh, I got my fireplace that I don't use. And then those, those are, those are my pride right there. Those Star Wars photos. Got those from Awesome Con. That was a great time. Twelve. Twelve and already a gamer. He is on the right path. My stepmom would not agree. <laughs> and then uh, over here is my old gaming setup. That was my desk, my two monitors. I took my tower down because, you know, we're just going to, we're redoing it. You have three fireplaces in Conneaut? Do you, you still live in Conneaut? I don't even know anymore. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we're good. I was checking the uh, checking the food. I thought I heard something. But, yeah, that's, that's my giant Mass Effect poster. And then my old gaming setup. I took my tower down because we're just, we need to get serious. Like, I want to build a new desk. And uh, build a whole new PC, and that's where I'm going to game from. That's where I plan on doing my YouTube videos. I would like to do some on Xbox with some of my friends, but uh, that's a little bit more difficult. I need to get some more hardware. So that we kind of, it's kind of Connie out with three fireplaces. Oh, man. That's pretty dope. That's pretty awesome. And then over here, see, this is where the setup was. It was kind of pushed into this corner right here. That explains why that Mass Effect poster is there, because it was kind of almost centered over the desk. And then, um, if I can rotate the camera the right way, he's, this is a prime example of the awesome DJ booth, DJ Natto, streaming. Hopefully he gets to do that again soon someday. He uh, used to make these on his stream for fun. You could bid on them and... This one I got for free though, cause he's he's awesome. So that was that was awesome. He asked me what I wanted. I wanted Sleepy Pikachu. Up here, these were both from Awesome Con as well, over in uh, Virginia. You can't see this one quite as well, but I got the uh, the autograph of the Green Arrow, and then this one down here. If anyone can't tell, this is Avatar: The Legend of Korra. I got the voice actor for Korra. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. 
And that's pretty much it. That's my living room gaming setup area. Maybe, uh, maybe when I build a desk, I can do another little video of me putting it together, if you all want. Maybe by then I'll be on YouTube. Rotate around. There you go. This gimbal. Oh, there we go. I'm going to slide into it. Yeah. Uh, I'll do that. And then when I, when I get my PC, we'll go ahead and do a video of me setting that up too. All, all on the cell phone. And then once that comes in, it'll be uh, Gaming Central. We'll get some good uh, YouTube videos on, some good uh, long plays and... It's just going to be a real chill channel, so... Oh, you get off that counter! Mm. Uh, I'll leave it. I want to check it so bad, I don't want it to burn on the bottom of the pan. Yeah? I'm telling you, the minute I walked back in the kitchen, she was quiet that whole time. <laughs> yeah, so what games does your son play? Is he going to do some streaming or YouTube in his future, you think? Or is it just uh, the casual young boy gaming phase? Turn him into a sports star. Don't jump on that counter. Don't do it. Mm, window ledge is fine. Oh, I want to check it so bad. Mm -mm -mm. What do you guys think about these rains? I wasn't sure. I've only tried a couple of flavors now. This one, uh, this one is a strawberry sublime. I was on a real, um, oh, I can't even remember what it's called now. It was the, the other energy drink, new, semi-new. Oh, not Monster. Hey, Hannah has joined. Welcome. Real fast, we are, we are um, making a beef broccoli rice one pot. Um, I've already got it all in there. It's simmering down now, so I'll be checking that here in about five minutes. He wants to do gaming videos eventually. Yeah, definitely. Zero sugar monster mango drinks. I can't do the zero sugar with monster. I'm trying. Oh, it's bang. That's the other one. Alex West, what's going on, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try this one just because it looks good. It's the uh, the ultra gold, but I don't like the the monsters with zero sugar. They taste funny. Uh, they taste different than the other ones. But yeah, bang. I was on a real bang kick for a while, and now uh, I tried this rain and the uh, the white gummy bear. She is delicious. But yeah, no, the the um the gaming industry is huge like it's it's not the way it was when uh you know you and I were much younger. Now you can actually do a lot with it. So if he wants to do it, do it. You know, that that's a great goal. He could even get into you know, college for that type of thing. That would have been awesome to do. Oh, we're picking people up left and right now. Look at this. I don't even know who all's in here. Got three. I'm assuming that's Hannah Banana. And then Alex West. And then Kylie, who's been here the whole time. Thank you for the support. Alright. It's almost 20 minutes. I don't want it to burn on the bottom of the pan. I'm real paranoid about that with these pans. So we'll take a look. Oh, you see that steam? That's delicious steam. All right, let's see. Oh, I, I'll show it. I'll show it. Don't you worry. Just give me a second. I don't want to burn this pan. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's sticking to the bottom a little bit. I saw somebody write something. I'll be there in just a second. Oh boy. This uh this plastic spoon's not holding up. <laughs> Let's see if this rice is done. It feels done. Hmm. Done. All right. Let me, uh... Hot tamale. All right, hold on. Hi, Hannah. Welcome. Thank you for popping in. How have you been... delicious dinner crazy daughter settled down and ready for bed soon it was great catching up with you great catching up with you too in case you're still here here's what she looks like right now feel free to pop back in later and uh, check out the final product but you have a wonderful night and thank you for uh, for staying around so long for everybody else this is what we're making if you weren't here or didn't read the description or missed what I said it is a one pot beef, broccoli, and rice dish. It is gonna be delicious, and I need to get this cat off this counter. Look at this. She's not on the counter, she knows it. Alright. So that's good. So now we got a season. Season to taste. Thanks. Alright, bye. get this gimbal back over here. I'm still learning. Uh, for you guys that are here now, I've been um, doing some food videos for, you know, on and off for a little while here. I think this is like my fifth or sixth one, maybe. And uh, I've just been balancing my phone on whatever I could find. Um, and then somebody graciously gifted me a phone gimbal. So we're trying that out now. I'm still learning how to use it, but you know, it's pretty nice not having to balance this on my knife set or Star Wars cookie jar. Ooh. This final product is going to be delicious. For you guys that are here now too, feel free to uh, leave any wonderful comments you would like. I plan on making this a YouTube thing here in the near future, and uh, if you're enjoying it, I'd love to Ow. <laughs> see more of you. I'm just going to have to get a spoon for that. See more of you, hear more of you, we'll do some ideas, do some fun stuff going to be a video game and a vlogging channel so we'll, we'll keep up with the cooking stuff I like it people seem to like it I'm enjoying it people are enjoying it and you know that's all that matters but we're gonna also add some video games in there you need a Harry Potter cookie to oh you know what that'd be awesome I don't even put cookies in this cookie jar so I'll just get one I'll put it on each side of the thing oh Sandy Butts hello welcome welcome let me get the cheese yeah, Harry Potter cookie jar would be pretty, pretty awesome, I have to admit. Hannah Fertig rolling in hot with the awesome suggestions. I, I was talking a lot in my last video about, um, ooh about Star Wars and my love for Star Wars and uh, I have this awesome I have this awesome apron but I couldn't find it it would have been real funny for the stream it's a uh, Princess Leia in that uh, 
that uh, bikini outfit. I was going to put that on for stream, but I couldn't find it, so. So now we're, uh, we're coming into the home stretch for this dish, and it calls for two cups of cheese. I think I might do a little bit more than two cups because uh, cheese is delicious. So we'll spread this around, mix it in, and then we'll get a little bit more. And then we just let it melt on in. And that's the dish. I'll make sure to get a, a, finished, a finished shot of it on a plate because I'm going to eat and enjoy here shortly. And I hope you all enjoy the video. But, uh, yeah, any suggestions, any comments, leave it down below. It'll be great. I love feedback. And if you guys enjoy this, I want to do, do what everyone likes. So I already have an idea for possibly my next video, my next little live stream here. And that's going to be uh, Oyakodon, Japanese dish. I've made it a couple times before. Pretty good if I do say so myself. Cheese is life. You are so correct, Hannah. You know me all too well. But I am trying to eat healthier. So maybe I will stick to uh, um, the two cups. Not bad. Yeah, I think I'll... It's a, it's a lot of cheese in there. We'll take another look. It, it's, uh, it's looking a little bit more like mush. But you know, if it tastes good, it does not matter what it looks like. That's a lot of cheese, Hannah. All of the cheese. So let me uh, let me just let that melt up a little bit, and then I'll get a get a serving on a plate. Show you guys, and then I'm out out skis. But before I do, before I do go, how how are you doing, Hannah? What's going on in your life? What are you doing today? Anything fun? I mean, it's you know. So what? Eight thirty there. Yeah, there's no such thing as too much. Mm. Mm. I don't know about that anymore. <laughs> it it gets rough sometimes, you know. But no, I definitely, I definitely agree. I, I love cheese. I will eat cheese until the day I die. I don't care. If I somehow become lactose intolerant, I will get those pills that you can that you can get, and I will eat that cheese all the time. Cause it's it is life. So there's a good. Yep. Eight thirty. Just got off of work. Getting married in August. Mmm. That's a that's gonna be a great month. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Um. How about me? You know, um, I'm just over here in California. Doing cooking videos and working, working a lot. Um, yeah, not not too much new going on with me. Hopefully, hopefully doing some more of these videos. This is about the the newest thing going on with me. Haven't been home in about two years. Hoping to change that soon. Let me get this cat off the counter again. She knows she's not allowed on the counter, but she gets on the counter anyways. Yeah, I haven't been home in about two years, so I really miss home. Hopefully that'll change here soon. Hopefully COVID hasn't really, you know, deterred your life too much. It was a scary time there for a little bit, but, you know, we'll work through it the best way we can. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really happy. I'm sorry, there's so much cheese. I'm really happy about your your, your marriage. Like, that's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm very happy for you. Um, yeah, I think Zach, Zach Simic. Yeah, I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning him in this. She's on the counter again. Get off the counter. Uh, yeah, he, he was supposed to get married this summer as well. And then uh, just with everything with COVID, they had to postpone it. Uh, are you guys going to do a honeymoon? Where are you going to go? You hear this? This crazy cat. No such thing as too much cheesing. 
It's going to be a small wedding and just, just simple. Yeah, sometimes that's nice. Sometimes that's for the best, you know. You don't want to turn the heat off. It, it's, it's all about you and the person you're getting married to. So you don't need a huge wedding. And a, a small wedding, that fits you. All about you guys. And if that's what's going to make you happy, then do it up. Oh boy, this is going to be a heavy meal. Honeymoon in Georgia, see the ocean, hike some mountains, eat lots of food. Ooh, eating all the food. Life sounds good for you. I'm glad you're happy. Thanks. Yeah, it's it's not so bad, you know. Um, hoping to move, move from California sometime in the near future. Or sometime in the future, anyways. I don't want to stay here the rest of my life or the rest of my Air Force career. But yeah, it's not bad. Promotion's coming up soon, so we'll find out about that as well. Um, but yeah, you know, it's funny you mentioned hiking, because I was going to say, you know, you're you're definitely going to be on the road running on your honeymoon. Hannah the runner, always. I could, I could not imagine you not running. And the ocean, ooh, yeah. You gotta go swimming. If you don't go swimming, it's a sin. <laughs> the ocean is beautiful. Georgia, too. I've been to Georgia once. It was nice. Um, it was actually when Zach was living down that, that way. I went to visit him a couple of times. and it, it was really nice. It was very, very humid, very muggy, but very nice as well. I'm going to try and get this off the bottom of the pan. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Try and prevent it, but I can't. And now this is my lunch. Alright, let's get a good view of this. What do we got going on? Promotion is awesome. Where do you want to move to? I would love Japan. My whole, my, my goal is Japan. Japan is the goal. Um... But anywhere would be kind of cool, you know, just uh, just getting out and seeing some of the world and not really having to, to pay to do so. You know, living there for a little while, that would be fun. But uh, Japan is definitely number one on my hit list, and um, or my, my wish list, I guess I should say. Sounds like I'm going to take down Japan. No, no, no. Love me some Japan. Love, love that. I'd like to learn about the culture, learn about the... Uh, the language, how to speak it, that would be fun. I'm trying to do a little bit now, but it's it's tough. I don't I don't do well without a like a school type scenario, you know? Like I I learn better when I'm I guess you could say I'm forced to learn. <laughs> um but yeah. One day moving back home or in the area, I can't say home, you know my my stepmom will, will kill me. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be heavy. So now I got lunch for today and tomorrow, and this is my dinner for today and tomorrow. Japan would be awesome. My dad was stationed there when he was in the Marines. He loved it. Yeah. Do you remember, um, was he stationed at, uh, you, you, don't, you wouldn't happen to know the station he was at. The, I think the two that I know that the Marines can go to are, uh, Okinawa and Yokota. I don't know if they can go to Yokota, actually. I know, I know they're at Okinawa. And that's the island. And I would like to go, I'd like to go to Tokyo. Honestly, uh, Yakota would be amazing. Okinawa, I'd take it. It'd be neat, but I want to be on the mainland. That'd be really, really what I would like to do, but I'll take anything. Hold on. Oh, I'll have to pan this up later. Ooh. 
leave it set out here for now. All right, here we go. I do not, but I can find out for you. Okinawa sounds right, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's the island. I know I had uh, my cousin was stationed there. He said it was pretty nice, but it's just, it's a totally different world than the mainland from what I've heard. I don't know, never been there. But uh, here is, let's switch this around real quick. I'm, I'm using this new gimbal. I'm still learning how to use it, so bear with me. So there's that. It didn't lock. Oh, you know what we can do? We can go maybe, there it is. All right, so here's the dish. Oh man, that looks good. I'm excited for that. Mm -mm -mm. Bring it back to my beautiful face. Yes, yes. All right, well, that is all I have for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, leave a, leave a comment or, you know, let me know what you guys think. It looks freaking delicious. Thank you. It look, uh, Maybe I'm too much of a critic. It looks a little bit look like mush to me. But I also happen to watch all those cooking shows and that they just, it looks spectacular what they make. It looks wonderful. But yeah, thank you. And uh, thank you for everyone who watched and sat and talked. And uh, it was good catching up with everybody. Uh, maybe sometime in the future I'll have more of a schedule. So you, if you really like this, if you're enjoying this, you can, you know, know when to pop in. But for now, it's just kind of random whenever I feel like it. Uh, I do plan on moving it to YouTube, like I said earlier. I don't know when I'll do that. <laughs> Master Chef Junior. Yup. No, I watch the, I watch the big boys, and their their food is just blows me away. But yeah, I do plan on moving this to YouTube. Um, I'll still I'll post, you know, a little link when I when I do that first one, maybe the first couple, just so everyone can uh, pop in and see that and be like, oh, I want to come watch this. But yeah, we're still going to do the food, we're going to do video games, we're going to do other stuff as well. So if you have any ideas, anything you want to see me cook, I'm not much of a baker. The kids are insane, they make me jealous. Oh, uh, especially the baking. I don't know how how they do it. Like, I, I can't bake, just not going to happen. Um, yeah, they, they make me jealous too. But they, you know, that's their passion, that's what they want to do. Me, I just kind of have a small little ember for this it's fun i like food it's just the cooking the prep it takes so long for me but yeah if you guys have any any suggestions or ideas that you want to see let me know if you uh you want to try this throughout my videos i pretty much say the whole recipe um, if you cook it, let me know what you think. If you change anything about it, let me know what you changed. Maybe I'd like to try it too. And uh, thank you for coming and watching. Catch you all next time.